Hey, at least I pull cheeks. Oh, oh. I pull cheeks. <laughs> Alex and I had an affair. How many times? Just the once. I'm not apologising. He's the one that should apologise to me. Like a fish? Mm -hmm. Of course I did. Do you want to be my little sister? You bet. <laughs> what is it with this bloody spot that's so important to you? My father's ashes are scattered there. Dad liked it. Who is the sexiest person on the planet? Madonna. Why couldn't it be the girl next door? Someone like Gabrielle. He's blushing. Hey, Gab, you home? Daniel, this is Tidy. Tidy, Daniel. He's just out there. Oh, sorry. Shut the door. Quick! <laughs> Quick! Do you want me to make you some food? No. I can be quiet. Very quiet. Silent. You have the most amazing face. Where'd you get that face? Should we bring out the tempeh puffaloons? Yeah. That'd be fucking marvellous. Hey. You see that guy over there? Donnie Merkelstein. Owns half of Hollywood. Is there something wrong with you? Donnie? This is Charlie, our talented chef. Well, it's nice to meet you too. What was that about? <laughs> what? Dog boy. I think I channeled the mongrel. Wasn't funny. Well, I thought it was. These people are very important. Tonight is very important. Oh, listen to yourself. Jesus, I was having some fun. Richie! Richie! You okay? I'm getting my period. You sure? Yes. You coming? That's okay, I'll get a cab. Look, I'm sorry this is taking a little longer than we thought. But I'm wondering whether we should make sure that everything's working. Yeah. 
I have a number here of a, of a clinic which will test your sperm. Right. Um, test it for what? A sperm count. Mobility. Whether they're healthy. I'm sorry to dump all this on you. I just hadn't thought there might be something wrong with my guys. It probably isn't, but the test will sort all that out. I mean, I'm not worried. And anyway, you know, there's always IVF if there's any problem. School night. You right? Yeah, just taking it in. Shall I call your cab? Yeah, thanks. Late again. Watch this. Keep watching. Lesbians. Oh yeah, they are. I can't believe how many poofs, lesos and weirdos are employed in this place. It's a bloody circus. I like the circus. Yeah, but who can you flirt with? Where can you meet a nice man? Not here. Exactly. We are good-looking women. We're smart, we've got good jobs. Oh, what's it all about, Chloe? I'm gonna get a coffee. Do you want one? Yeah, I want one, thanks. Hey. Hey. Hey, Jess. Pupil free day. Oh. I don't have to go to school today. Unreal. <laughs> hey, Jess. Morning, girl. What are they doing? Having a shower? At the same time. Mm -hmm. They'll see each other in the nude. Um, why don't you eat your muffin? Yes, sir, I understand. And I'm sorry if you... Sir, I'm sorry, and I've admitted our error. Now, perhaps you can put your complaint in writing and I'd be happy to look at it for you. Chloe, can I see you for a moment? Okay, as you may know, John Henderson is leaving us. I have spoken with management and we would like to offer you the position. It would mean much more responsibility, a permanent position, so super holiday, share option, blah, blah, blah. And of course, a wage rise. Congratulations. Thanks. I'll have to think about it. Think about what? Well, just... I'll let you know tomorrow, if that's okay. Sure. Where does Evan keep his sheets? On his bed? He doesn't have a spare? No. How often does he change his sheets? I don't want to know, do I? This test is for HIV, Hep C, B and syphilis. The sperm sample we can take in three days' time. Why the wait? Well, we recommend you abstain from ejaculation for three to five days before the test sample's taken. Gives a better reading. Uh, how long till I get the results? Well, after we take it to the lab, probably the next day. Any other questions? No. Well, do I bring it in here or...? Make an appointment and we'll do it all here. We need to get it to the lab within one hour. Cheese. 
<laughs> What's happened here? Oh, I just washed the sheets. I kind of uh, needed it. Papers were there. I just stacked them on the desk over Book, there. Yeah, books were here. I put them on the bookshelf over there. See? More space. Clean. Much better. Okay. I shouldn't have done that. It looks bigger. Yeah, I, I think so. Well, if your workspace is, is your sleep space, then you need systems. Be a bit organised. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm hoping to see you. I've left messages in all forms of communications. I thought you'd be holding Luciana's hand while she has a period. I went to the sperm clinic today. I'm getting my sperm checked. Why? Well, we thought it'd be good to make sure everything's in order. Do you care about this at all? You know, I'm trying really hard to stay connected with this whole quest for Luciana's baby. But can we talk about something else? This involves you too. I made this decision with you. In theory, yes. But it's between you and Luciana. I'm an outsider. Was that what the dog act was about? Yes. No, I, I was feeling carefree. Feeling... No, I don't give a shit. I was feeling gay. Can I buy you dinner? No, I've got an early start tomorrow. I'm off. Charlie, I've got to go. See this? Yeah. I applied for it before I went overseas, but I, um, I never used it. Right. So let's go and use it now. On what? Wine. Dinner. My gorgeous boyfriend with clean sheets. Boyfriend? Yeah, boyfriend. You got a problem with that? No. I think I like it. <laughs> I'm dying to see this movie. Aren't you? We can see something else. Oh, no, it's fine. Just a bit of a chick flick, you know? <laughs> chick flicks can be enjoyed by non-chicks as well, can't they? If you're prepared to be emotionally manipulated and force-fed what to feel. <laughs> when was the last time you were honestly moved by a film? Top Gun. <laughs> yeah. You don't mind staying the night, do you? Do you wish you were married? No, not really. Time to go to sleep, all right? Why didn't she go back to him? She didn't think she could make him happy. But she made such a selfish decision. How could she know what was going to happen in the future? But if she'd gone back to him, she would have had to change who she was. Her life, all that she'd worked for. So what? Who cares? Daddy. I think you've been manipulated. You have. I bloody loved it. <laughs> he told Mummy he was going fishing. At night. <laughs> He'd never been fishing before in his whole life. <laughs> His idea of fishing was was walking out of a shop with a, a bit of bad shark and newspaper. So he went fishing, and that was it. We never saw him again. What? So, so your dad drowned? Hmm. Well, that's apparently what happened to him. But his body was never recovered, and the um. The boat he hired was was found on a beach in the bay. How old were you? Eight. 
So you think your dad might still be alive? My brother reckons he's seen him. No. <laughs> I know. It's pretty weird. But as far as I'm concerned, the man I knew as my father is dead. He ceased to exist. Yeah, but aren't you curious? Don't you want to know the truth? I know the truth. The truth is, he'd rather fake his own death than continue living with us. Now, would you want to know that, Matt? As your father? I don't. I'm going to the bathroom. Should we get another bottle of wine? Why not? Okay. Excuse me. You Can you back yourself so far into a situation the only way out is to die? How do you get there? You just allow things to keep happening and before you know it, you're somewhere you don't want to be. and go to the bathroom. What? Well, since when did we become a married couple? <laughs> You're so tough. I just when I think everything's going well, you throw something like that at me. It's late. I live here. I want to brush my teeth and get out of my clothes. Go on. to get married? Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't. Have you got a ring for her? Yep. Evan Wild? I have a present for you. See, you can um, read and prove your hard copies of your work over here, at the desk. It's adjustable for different heights, and it means you don't have to lie in bed and get a bad back. It'll make everything messy all over the place. There. Where'd you get it? I made it. You made it? Sword wooden stuff? Yeah. It's a fairly simple construction. I, I got the plans from a friend. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> Is it your birthday? No. <laughs> Why'd you get a present for him? Um, I thought he might like it. Do you? Yeah, it's great. Hey, Jess. Where's Cal? Shower. We're gonna cook pancakes for breakfast. Okay, come on. Hey, we're making pancakes for Bricky. Oh, great. Oh, that looks great there. Yeah. Mackenzie Turner, please. Hi, my name's Christian. I'm Chloe's flatmate. Yeah, she won't be coming into work today. She's ill. Yeah, I hope so too. Thank you. Bye. What did she say? She said, I hope she feels better soon. <sighs> You're brilliant. 
I was so stressed. I couldn't face making a decision today. <laughs> We're free. What are we going to do? Pop a kettle on and I'll roll us a joint. <laughs> I have always been such a good girl. Always done the right thing. I am an expert at figuring out what someone wants and giving it to them perfectly. That's not a bad skill to have. Hey, can you give us a hand with these weeds? They're giving me the shit. Are you going to take the job? I don't want to think about it. I get sick thinking about it. Finally, I didn't have to work at all. Hey, I, 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 no, 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 that's a carrot. Pull it up. Pull it up. My boss hates homosexuals. She's always making comments about the people I work with. Some of them are my friends. And I say nothing. Just a sec. Yeah. Hey. Hey. What do you think? Ah, oh, it's good. Yeah, good. <laughs> Did you just sit there when I knocked on the door? Yeah. But I'm here now. <laughs> What is going on? What? Okay. One minute we, we're getting on like super buddies, right? And, and, and having sex like, like... Like I think about it during the day and I blush. <laughs> you know? Blush. And then like uh, this morning, like now, you go on all Mr Cold on me and I it just... It freaks me out. I don't know what to say. Well, you mean you, mean you don't know what I, what I want you to say, so you're not going to say anything at all? Look, just, just tell me what is going on in that mind of yours. Just don't think about the effect. Just, just give it to me. I'm wondering if this is going somewhere I don't want to go. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? George. <laughs> that is possibly the most horrible thing you could have said to me. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. I'm... I'm... I was just being honest. Honest? <laughs> I don't fucking get it. What was last night about? What have the last two months been about? What are you doing? I wanted to say I've fallen off the riverbank into a current that's taking me somewhere I've never been before. I wanted to ask George to wait for me to catch her up so that we could float together to wherever it is that we're going. Did the doctor talk to you about what can be done if you do have problems? No, I'm 28 years old, I'm very fit. I don't think there'll be any problems. But if there is a problem, are there things that they can do to remedy that? I will cross that bridge when I come to it. OK, OK, OK. I'm being pushy. No, it's... I don't know, it's getting complicated. It's OK. Let's go into this meeting. Hmm? Yeah. I'm sorry. Hi, how are you? 
What? Locked myself out. Can you come over? I've got 10 kilos of salmon heating up in the back of the car. I'll put it in the fridge. Well, I can't. The car keys are inside too. Look, I can't leave here for another hour. I've got a meeting with the executive producers. You what? No, I can't. Charlie, go on ahead. I'll sort it out. Charlie, what is it? Oh. Charlie? Charlie? <laughs> hey, I got a cab here. Is meter still running? Can I have your keys to my flat, please? Oh, shit, I thought Luciana. I thought she was going to sort it out. Fuck Luciana, and fuck you too. Oh. Mm. Never tasted anything so delicious. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good, eh? Yeah. Try this. Mmm, <laughs> that's so sweet. I've never been paid for doing something I like. It must be amazing. Yeah, it's still just a job, but I like it. I can't imagine doing anything else. Mm. What could I imagine doing? You know what I reckon? You need to take a couple of steps back. I mean, what do you do when your boss goes on about poofs and lesos? I carefully avoid saying anything. She doesn't know I'm gay, if that's what you mean. Yeah, you see, that's wrong. I mean, not just wrong, but... You're not being you, and that's a pretty big thing. I mean, when you grow up, you've got to be true. It's all you've got is truth. I didn't know you were so wise. <sighs> yeah. Stick around, babe. I got it all sorted. <laughs> I have. Hi, it's me. You've had her off for hours. Where are you? You off the leash for the night? Are you okay? I'm sorry about today. These guys are over here from the States. It's fucking business. You know, you're right, but I don't give a shit. I needed you today, and you weren't there. I have a job, Charlie. No, 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 Richie. I can't. I don't want to compete with Luciana and you. I don't want to compete with the baby machine. I don't want to compete with the show. You put me at the bottom of the pile, and I don't want to be someone's third or fourth priority. Charlie, shit. No. Let me get this straight. You've got the girl. The girl obviously loves you. She constructs items out of wood for you. And this makes you miserable? Yeah. Go figure. How are you going? Yeah. What? You know? I have a new platform. Oh, yeah? The plan is, there is no plan. It's just me, 100%. Gab will see this and either like it or hate it. Could backfire. Tony's just like my best friend. Nothing could ever happen between us. I have no option. It's a dangerous path, but it's the only one left. Hey! Shit, look at you two. <sighs> we have had the best day. Who wants a drink? Yeah? So, where is he? I don't know. I don't even know if we're still going out together. Oh, Evan's doing it again. Doing it again? What? You know, Alex. Evan and Alex. Um, when things got to a certain point, he freaked. Would you say that was fair, Kel? Yep. This is so depressing. <laughs> I thought Evan was this amazing guy, you know, so smart, my, my dream funny man. <laughs> and you're telling me he's an emotional cripple. No, 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 he's not that. He's many a strange thing, but he's not that. And I made him that desk. That was stupid. It was too big a present, too full on. Oh, I think it's beautiful. I should have given it to you. And I whacked him today. <laughs> you whacked him? Yeah. Wow, with a fist? No, just a push. A hard push. I was so pissed off at him. 
let's talk about something else. This is depressing me. <laughs> Kelly and I are so boringly single. We have to get our dose from you. <gasps> What's the best thing in your life at the moment? That's not just one thing. I mean, everything feels calm, good. Love uni. I love hanging out with Jess. What about you, Gab? Mm. Tidy. Yeah, after living by myself for so long, having a flatmate's really, really great. And he's just smart and funny and kind. Yeah, he's good. You think I should apologise to Evan? Oh, no. No. Let him stew. Make him think for a bit. The problem with Evan is that he thinks too much. <laughs> now, let's go out. Yeah, right. Huh. Where's all the girls? Hello. The girls who want to bash me, right? Girls? Girls, yeah, girls. My shout. There's girls everywhere, Christian. But you can't talk to any of them. It's your daddy. I guess if that's going to stop me. Here we go. Here we go. I think you should ring her and say you're sorry. I thought love meant never having to say you're sorry. What does that mean? No idea. I can't work it out. Every time I think about it, it makes my brain hurt. Well, what if you tripped over the remote and spilt your beer on her lap? What then? Well, that's not sorry. Oops a daisy. <laughs> This is a sign. This girl is having no effect on me at all. <laughs> you know, I, I think I'm going to go home. No, look, stay for a drink. No, I don't want to do this. George. Are you awake? Feeling better? Well, I wasn't sick. You must have known that. I need time to think. Okay. Can I talk to you for a moment? No, I've got to get you to do this briefing. The operators are in the conference room right now waiting for you. I can't do this right now. What's the matter? I haven't been honest. Chloe, I don't mind you having a sick day. No. I think it's wrong that you talk about the operators the way you do. But what is worse is that I've let that go. I've agreed with you by not standing up for what I believe. I'll do the brief. Thanks. The food was absolutely vile. I had to send back my main course twice. Donnie was barking mad about some stupid nonsense to do with his car. You sorted out with Charlie? Uh, what? What is it? Uh, do you read minds? No. It's written all over your face. Do you want to leave the show? No. You and Charlie? No, no. You don't want to do it. You don't want to have it. A... 
you've changed your mind. I've thought about this a lot, and this is something... I can't do this as a favour. And if I wanted to have a child, it would be with you. But I'm just... I can't say that this is what I want right now. Your commitment need be no more than you're willing to give. But what I want now and what I might want in a year, two years, God, 18 years, when I think of my whole life being shaped by something I would never have thought of unless you'd asked me. Richie, that's what life is. Intersections with fate. I mean, I... I don't want this to change our friendship. You really have made up your mind? I'm sorry. Just, just keep talking to me. Okay. I'm, um... I'm sad. I'm very sad. I know. I hope this doesn't stop you. <sighs> well, I'll just have to think about that. Do you have a brother? Sorry about this morning. Doesn't matter. What's this? It's my letter of resignation. I'm gonna leave this job. Uh, right. I've led you to believe that this is what I want. This promotion, that this is my career, but it's not what I want to do. I'm sorry for that. I just let it drift. And this is not what I want to do with my life. Uh, right, well... If whatever it is you're going to do doesn't work out, you can always come back to the phone room. Yeah. Might be a bit uncomfortable for you. No, oh, I don't think so. People come and go here all the time. But I'm one of those lesbians you despise so much. Why are you telling me this? I'm just being honest. I'm late. I'm very late. And I feel very bad. I drank all the orange juice. Of course you did. What time do you finish? Oh, A&E is a bit of a circus on Saturdays. Probably won't get back till Sunday. Why? No reason. Have a good day, Doctor. You too. Tidy. You think we've gotten over that sex thing? No, I haven't gotten over it. Oh. How could I? You're the most gorgeous woman I've ever met. Maybe you should get a spare set and give it to a neighbour, just in case you lock yourself out. Nah, you only do that when you're single. But when you've got a boyfriend, they have the spare set. Well, what about yesterday? Maybe I can't always drop everything. I'll take my chances. The look on your face was priceless. <laughs> Oh, do you know how relieved I feel? It's like a debt's been paid off. Like, I just had my last exam. Let's get really good at taking care of each other before we go throwing our sperm around to childless hussies. Eh? <laughs> Thank you for being such a demanding, self-centered bastard and forcing yourself front and center in my life. To know me is to love me. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone always waking me up. 
Look, I brought you a cup of tea. Sit up. This is important. You awake? Yeah, what? Hey, now listen. We're good friends. Mm. Now, there wouldn't be too much that you could say or do that could stop me from being a friend. Oh, there might be a few things. You might murder someone or stick Kill it to... the point. Yeah, all right. You are in grave danger of becoming a serial love pig. You reel them in, and when they are so in, you get scared and clam up until they get sick of it and they walk away. Now, the way you're behaving is really pathetic. Totally pathetic. Okay. Right now, you're not even giving it a chance. Do you know how lucky you are? You found someone who absolutely adores you. Do you know how lucky you are? You found someone who absolutely adores you. That's great. But the sorting out of where that takes us is the hard bit. Could be placid oasis ahead. Could be churning rapids. Could be a whirlpool. Could be all of the above. Sorry about what I said. I was being honest, but it came out all wrong. Do you think it would be better for us if we if we weren't living together? Have we rushed in too far just because we live together? Maybe. But when I see something I like, I I walk around it and I look at it from different angles and I think about it. And if it's a person, and that person is also liking me back, then... Oh, it just becomes so complicated and tangled up, and there's wires crossing. And... But most of the time, the complication becomes so muddled and tangled up, that the original idea is gone, and it's, it's just this... Deep complication. Yeah. But with you, the complication is as interesting, if not more interesting, than than the original thing was. So please don't move out. Stick with the complication. Well, we don't have to call it that. It's changing all the time. It's changed already. It's... It's dynamic. <laughs> A dynamic complication. Yeah. Smooth water, gentle breeze, current strong enough to pull us along, but slow enough to enjoy the scenery. I can't see what's ahead, what's around the next bend. But for now, I'll just enjoy the ride and see where it takes me. I'm very sorry this happened, but I took a job from a union worker. The union movement will support the ECU officials. Are we going to debate this? This is not a playground. You OK? Yeah, work. Let's talk. I just want to watch TV, OK? Hey, Talia. Hi. Would you want to get a drink sometime? You know those free personality tests where I like, analyse them for people and tell them what their problem areas might be? Is this the sort of test where you tell me I should quit my job? They're making these huge judgments about you on the basis of what? Why do you always say love like that? Love. Better. Love. I would love to go soon. Are you ready? What do you do? I'm not really working right now. I'm trying not to sound like a loser. Oh, you don't. You really don't. Do you think I had a good time? I don't understand. Well, start fucking trying. 